luck and fate, two concepts that have been argued throughout the sands of time. And I'm sure no man has ever been more victimized by this terrible paradigm than my friend Morris. After the loss of his wife, Morris pushed away from the world, and he was determined to be, well, undetermined. Needless to say, I wouldn't be telling you this story if the world hadn't pushed back. So, Morris, how have you been? Great. Let's get down to business, shall we? Now, Morris, I know the last few months have been hard on you, and we have continuously offered you a leave of absence. Uh, I want to work. I know you do, Morris, but your productivity as of late has been dismal at best and we have been getting complaints from the top. My hands are tied. We can't give you any more time to complete the manuscript. We have to ax the deal. You really should have taken that time off, Morris. Otherwise, you wouldn't be in this position. I'm sorry, Morris. I really am. Sniff if you're still there. Morris had no idea just how hard he would be hit by luck or fate, or whatever you like to call it. Hey, Dad, look what I found in Mom's stuff. I don't know why you're messing with that thing. Well, Mom liked it. Yeah? And look what good it got her. That was typical Morris for you. Gloomy, depressed, Hi there. and cut off from the world. I know what you're thinking. This sad thing we have determined to be a human being has a daughter? I see your point, but give the guy some credit. I'm sure he would have thought of something better to say if he knew it was the last time he'd speak to her. Morris, there's something wrong with Holly! She's on the ground! Look at me! Look at me! Breathe! Was it a bee? Yes, I need an ambulance. Here's 219 Jovesi Boulevard. Quick, I don't know, it's a little girl. She's not breathing. Where is it? You see, Holly was deathly allergic to bees, and Morris's wife kept an EpiPen somewhere in the house for emergencies. If only she had told Morris where she put it. I'm so sorry. No, it's a bad father. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Just breathe for me. Breathe, girl. The loss of his wife caused his grief, and in his grief, he lost his daughter. But no one foretold the misfortune that would happen next. That's the biggest order of crap I've ever heard. How would you, Thomas Humphrey, ever come across a story like that? You made that out. That's the problem with you newbies, Leon. You have no respect for your elders. I also didn't appreciate that ill-spoken vernacular of my God-given name. If you must know, the gentleman told me himself. My name's Morris. I was so baffled, I could have been your twin. Watch it, old timer. But I'll tell you what, as soon as that boy started talking, his heart flowed like a fountain of golden tecate. Ah, well that's nice. Prove it. Ha, ha, ha.
Well, if my name isn't Leon. This the coin? If you have the coin. But I'm no Morris. It's a nice meeting you. Then as suddenly as he started talking, he stopped, wished me luck, and was on his way. Hey. Good luck. hard as I could, but I was no match for those 10 USC fighters, but that's how I got this. Yeah, well there's a lady around the corner, she has a coin shop. Yeah? Take it, see how much it's worth. Might get 10 bucks. Oh really? Hmm? I might go see her tomorrow. Good. So you may be wondering, whatever happened to the coin? Well, the least I could do would be to find out where it came from, or what it's worth. You know, to honor Morris. Hello, sir. How can I help you? Um, how much would you give me for something like this? Mm hmm. Can I see it? Very nice. Hmm, interesting. Seventeen forty-one. Hmm. $20? $20? Yeah. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. Give me $20. Okay. Alrighty then, sir. Here is your $20. Okay, thank you. Thank you very You're much. You're welcome. Oh, oh, do you want a receipt, sir? Sir? No, no. Thank you. So don't worry about it. <laughs> Okay. Uh, can, can I see that? Is it luck or fate? To tell you the truth, no matter which one you choose, it's all a pack of hand-fed lies perpetrated by the U.S. government to get you to do what they want. Morris didn't die from a mystical element of luck or fate. He was just a poor victim of circumstance. You'd have to be a moron to believe that. <laughs> Johnston Brunner film, yeah?